Hi folks, this is Pravin Kumar from Informatica Support. In this presentation, we are going to look how we can disable sessions run statistics persistence to a repository database. The information we discuss in this session is meant to be for Informatica Power Center 9x versions. So in this presentation, we will discuss topics as shown in the screen. We will begin with some basic introduction to run history. What is the impact of this run history on the RS performance and the availability? How can we disable statistics logging? And we'll have a quick demo on how we can do that for a particular session. We'll also discuss the alternatives we have for this. So what is run history information? Whenever we run a workflow, the RS process all the performance data and the interrelated information across the tables of the repository database. These tables contain the runtime information which can be classified into the following categories. The workflow run details, the session statistics, the task details, the source fetch and the target load statistics, partition details and the performance details across the transformations. So what is the impact of this run history? The main impact on the run history is on the availability and the performance. Okay, so as the first statement says, the log entries grow with the age of the repository service. That means the older your repository service is, the more number of log entries it is going to have. So therefore, as the count goes on increasing, there is always a need or a demand for increasing the additional table spaces. The increased delay in inserting records on the run history related tables during the session run can also be seen because Every time a session is run, an insert operation is performed on these tables and since they are heavily loaded with huge number of records, it's, it takes more time to insert details into it. You, will, you may also see sometimes slowness in access to the session runtime information when you open the session information from the power center monitor. So, just to have an example, you can look at this. Consider a workflow which runs every two minutes. So in an hour, if you see it runs twice, okay, and into 24 hours into seven days. So totally 10,080 times a week an insert operation will be done. And this is a minimal estimation. And there are multiple tables which are updated with this information. So, on top of this 10,080, there will be again increased number of records pertaining to the transformation level statistics, the partitioning statistics, and if any other configuration you have done in the session level, then additional records may be added. So, you may be wondering, in an year, this would have written many, many, many records. It will be 10,080 into 52 times, right? So, if you observe, I have only one session which is writing so much of huge amount of data into the repository tables. So, what if we have an option so that we can avoid writing of this information? Because anyways, it is a session which runs continuously and only runs for two minutes. Okay, so it's obvious that we may not need the runtime statistics for that particular for our future reference. So what we can do is we can go ahead and set this custom session property record says stat in repo the R, S, S, I and R. These five letters are in capital and when you're setting this you set it to no by default it is set to yes and N should also be a capital when in the no. 
So what are the trade drops of disabling this run history? When you disable this run history, the workflow monitor may not show you the session run load statistics in details for a history of runs. However, the statistics can also be seen from the session log because the session log is something which is persisted on the file system of the disk and access exists as a file. Now let's have a quick demo on how you can do that. So I have a new repository which contains only one workflow which contains a reusable session. So let me show you what the session contains. So in the mapping which this session uses, it has only three things, a star source, a target and an expression transformation. On top of it, I have created 11 partitions inside here and then you see there is no custom property and all other things are default okay so let me run this session for you and show you that but before that i would like to show you the repository tables which we can see for the count so let me first connect to the sql plus and show you the tables which will get updated i'll i will we'll do a select count on them and uh, we will see what is the current count we'll run the session and then again see the current count so these are the tables which will be inserted with the records and if you see three tables opb perf count opb details switch log and opb s switch inch log these are the three tables which are rank number one in them if you see opb perf count is the one which is not deleted using even using the truncate log command of informatica pm rep okay so as of now the count is 158 so now let us run this workflow so let me go to the monitor and run the workflow for you so I'm going to click on restart and it's running now. Okay, so it succeeded. And now if we have a look at the records there on the OPB perf count table, it's 180. So totally 22 records have been added for a single run of the session. So imagine how big it can write if you have so many sessions running okay so how we can stop it so let's set the custom property which we discussed in the presentation and run this session again so i am going to the config object here you can specify the custom property so we click on new And here we go so we have set the property here now I need to save this session so that is refresh properly yeah okay so it's saved now let's go to the workflow monitor and run it again Okay, so it succeeded finally again. Let's go and see the record count. Oh, it is still 180. So no records have been added into this table. So this is how you can save a lot of your table space by preventing the records from entering into the repository tables for particular sessions which may be running a lot. And in case you don't want to save their statistics details okay so let's go back to the presentation so what are alternatives we have so the other alternative is to have pm rep truncate command so this command is 
good enough because it does not require a downtime. It is a bit slower because a delete operation is being performed internally. Since a delete operation is performed, you have to reclaim the table space by running update statistics in Oracle, run stats in DB2 and their equivalent if you are using any other DB. The other option is you can use the truncate table script. When you use the truncate table script, you need to bring down the RS but it is very fast and requires uh, and it does not require uh, you to reclaim the table space because you are they're doing a truncate table on the repository tables. As it is a truncate table command, a lock will be put on the tables and hence you cannot have the RS running at that point of time. And that is the need why we have to bring down the RS. But it is very very quick and fast. So you can bring it down if you have a maintenance window then you can go ahead with this truncate table script. To avail this truncate table script you can contact Informatica GCS. You can raise a SR and we will be provided to you. You can also refer KB15658 for further reference. And we would love to hear from you. You can mail us on support videos at informatica.com, tweet us on infra support, and also follow us on the YouTube channel Infra Support. Thank you for your valuable time. Have a nice day.